messed it up. I'm still tired. And I ain't gonna get no rest. You know why? This weekend is Shake birthday. So he said last weekend, y'all had y'all time with me. And this weekend is his time. Y'all wore my throat out last weekend and this week, I ain't gonna have no throat. What y'all got better be hit the wine glasses in the chat? I miss y'all. I'm still, like I said, I'm still trying to get my voice back, so it's, it sounds like I'm yodeling a little bit. I see it. It's red. It's red. I'm gonna be hot today. They done cut off the AC in the building that we rent, and they be trying to conserve energy on Fridays, but I ain't seen that reflect in our lease bill at all, okay? Mine is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on the AC, so I had to get a fan. That's how bad we doing down here. But luckily for me, I was raised in Florida, okay? We used to put fans in the window. You know what I'm saying? You, you pull up the window, you put the box fan in the window, and let the fan blow hot air. Hit the wine glass if you know about that. There wasn't no AC. There was one heater in the house, and it lit fire. Your mama didn't want to let you go around it because they was afraid you was going to set the whole house on fire. And we wanted to. Oh, my God, I missed y'all. Hey, next time you're going to have your asses down where I tell you to go, okay? Y'all was, what? I didn't get it. I didn't know you was in Miami Live. I didn't know. I don't know how. We was promoting that for five months. Five months and you ignored it because you didn't think there was a lot of people out here didn't think we could sell it out but we did god did full show for y'all today I ain't gonna let y'all wait too much longer okay definitely gonna be talking about metal they getting sued okay we got another uh, waffle house we got waffle house experience <laughs> Elon Musk is cutting up over there on the X. They about to X his ass off the internet. He better be, he better be careful, okay? Definitely going to be talking about Tristan Thompson's new job. <laughs> All right, more, unfortunately, on Jada Pinkett. All right, Destiny Williams. Oh, okay. We got a nice little bottle here. Okay, we're going to be sipping. He got it to match the set in my hair. Shout out to Keisha on the, the what? Keisha on the what? That's right, the motherfucking color. You know we got to bleep our own words out. I ain't got no person that hit beep because they can't catch my words. Jasmine ain't going to be able to catch my cuss word. I'm too fast for them, okay? Definitely going to be talking about Jonathan Majors. All right, there's a major update on this. I told you they was going to go get her. Y'all white women better be careful these days, okay? These white men is tired. It's tired of y'all trying to create. J Let me be quiet. We're going to wait. Definitely going to be discussing Lil Wayne. Tori Bree and Rich the Kid. See, she ain't even a part of the news, right? But a lot of times when these celebrities get in my DM and you talking cash shit, you saw the DM, Jasmine. You saw the DM from Tori Bree. I said, see, why nobody ain't talking about you? Why is you over here and not over there watching the ring camera footage that these... You know what? We're going to talk about that in a minute. Let me let me not. Let me not. Let me not. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Okay? Light-skinned women, y'all better y'all better have her back tonight, okay? Y'all better have her back. I thought that BBL was doing a job, but it's not. She needs some help back there. Definitely going to be discussing uh, uh, Candace Dillard and, and Chris Bissett. Is that how you say his last name? Bassett? Is it Bassett Furniture or Bassett? Because it's Bassett Furniture? Okay, okay, cool. He, he does. He own the Bassett Furniture? He don't own it? Okay. He own a couch? For, barely own a couch. Okay. I can't even see the words with these dark-ass glasses on, okay? Definitely going to be discussing DJ Ivy. <laughs> and then we got Kaya versus, uh, uh, who else? Uh, Su Sukiana. And Ugly Red, okay? All that more coming up. And then, of course, we got TashaKLive.com. And we definitely got, I told y'all about that Dwight uh, Howard, right? Yes, his last name. Yeah, 
Okay. It's a lot of Dwight's around here and Dwayne Dawkins and it's a lot of the gay men walking around here. Definitely going to be discussing Dwight Howard uh, over there, you know, because I've been in contact with all the alleged victims, okay? I told y'all this three years ago, and y'all y'all tried to say, but we'll talk about what y'all tried to say. Got some exclusive information on Papoose, okay? I hate to do it to you. America's favorite husband. We need a show. We need a talk show with, or, or a TV show. Like, America's Funniest Home Videos, we need America's favorite husband. And then when the scandal break, bitch, I break it. I got it from here, Pat. <laughs> Definitely going to be discussing Summer Walker. All right, she done made a deal out here. Uh, Caesar from Black Ink, Blueface, and more Krishan. Who else? JT. Uh, and much, 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 much more, okay? All of that and more coming up on TashaKLive.com right after this show, okay? But in the meantime, uh, we got some sponsors that, that we need to brag about. Okay, good. We got to get our little money, all right? Which means boldly raise a glass to y'all. Hold that thought. We'll be right back after the break. Let's go! A couple of years back, I had a bad reaction to some cheap hair dye, and it unfortunately put me in the hospital. My friends had asked me to seek legal action, but I didn't, okay? And I kind of wish that I knew of companies like Morgan & Morgan. When you're injured, you deserve compensation. And the size of the law firm matters. Morgan & Morgan is one of America's largest personal injury firms with over 800 lawyers and over 100 offices offices nationwide. And the best part is Morgan & Morgan is completely free, unless they win your case, of course. Over 3 million people currently trust Morgan & Morgan and getting started is super easy. Just check out the links in the comments section for more information now. You say you've always yeah. been attracted. Always. Yeah, there. It, it, it just is what it is. Like, I, I, I can't tell you why. I can just tell you in junior high, when Brenda walked by, mm -hmm. I looked, you know, when... What Brenda look like? Brenda, Brenda had the booty. L, L Cool J, I think, <laughs> described her one time. But <laughs> <laughs> Brenda with the butt boy. Listen. Uh, and then, you know, Karen, she didn't have all that. Yo, y'all got to stop spraying deodorant on y'all coochies in the, in the strip club. Oh, God. If it ain't fresh, it ain't fresh. Old pastor told me Noel Jones told him Jamal Bryant okay. and a whole bunch of other preachers. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 so him and a whole bunch Jamal. Um, I'm trying to figure out who else is in the room. Jamal stay trying to threaten somebody. Uh now you got every wife, girlfriend, huh. and side bitch on your page waiting to get throated by a banana. On some grapes. On some grapes and chocolate. You even got people's grandmamas. Even pastors. I'm not gonna mention no names, but I do have I do have a lot of lot of persons come through. Not everything with video, you know, because you gotta respect some person's privacy. Yeah. But yeah. But you know why they call it. Yeah. I drunk some liquor, smoke some weed. And then uh, I took this other pill that I don't know what the name of it is. Oh, and uh, I went in there, and then I, I, I was so sleep and drowsy. I woke up in the morning, and she was laying upside down with her legs up in the air. And then a couple of days later, she called me and said she was pregnant. And I got a baby. And it's your baby? It's my baby. We did three DNA tests. Because at first, I didn't know. I was like, oh, my God, this is not going to work. I'm just over here just for the hell of it. But you didn't fuck her? No. He okay. did, though. sure that I, I show some love to our, our co-host, Teddy. Okay, Teddy tied to. He definitely uh, hung over. Okay, I mean, from the from the live show, y'all wore him out on stage. To the, We had to leave him home and not attend the day party because he was just done. He was just throwing up all night, you know what I'm saying? He had been caught a contact from all the reef y'all was smoking. You know what I'm saying? Y'all real hood. I, I, y'all, I didn't know my audience was that hood. I see why y'all be out here holding it down with me. <laughs> Florida style. Glad y'all enjoyed the weather and everything. Okay, let me see what they're talking about in the comments real quick before we get into what we're going to be discussing. Okay, let's see. All righty. 
I know it's been a minute since we've been live. Oh, man. Oh, man. I feel like, you know, the first day back to work after vacation, and you got to get into the swing of things, right, Jasmine? Oh, yeah, gangster teddy bear, okay? Now, listen. <laughs> There's an update that I need to update y'all on. Apparently, uh, we're going to start with Meta. Can, is my voice good? I need to raise the, raise the mic some more. You sure? It's been a minute now. I'm a little rusty, but I, I'm going to get back into it, okay? Now, then I got to gotta use my throat again, and we'll be back Monday, and we should, we'll be on our regular schedule next week, okay? I, I almost took the day off, but I said I ain't going to do y'all like that no two weekends in a row. I ain't going to do that, okay? All right, so apparently, let me tell y'all, because y'all got to learn to start getting y'all checks out here. They sending checks to everybody but us, okay? And I've been following a lot of money out here because I need a little bit, just, just a little bit. Okay, every single dime. Now, Meta, Facebook, and Instagram, because you know Facebook and Instagram is owned by Meta, is being sued. Now, get this, okay? Now, they're being sued for adding features to Instagram and Facebook that are addicting to teens and children. We already knew that. But let me tell you where I got the problem at, okay? We got to follow the check. Now, apparently, um, of course, they're adding features to Instagram and Facebook that are addicting to teens and children, and they're being sued across 41 states. That's damn near the whole United States. They might as well just file the lawsuit from the Justice Department. I don't understand why they had to do 41 different lawsuits. They finna break them down. They finna go up on our prices. That's why, that's why uh, we'll talk about Elon Musk in a minute. Matter of fact, put Elon Musk up under metal, okay? Now, Meta is being sued across 41 states for allegedly incorporating features that make young children addicted to its apps. Now, the parent company of Instagram, WhatsApp, and Facebook uh, is sued in a joint suit across, oh, now it's 33 states. It went from 41 to 33 at the same time. And the remaining eight states of the District of Columbia have filed individual claims. Complex reports per the filings, Meta has harnessed powerful and unprecedented technologies to entice engage, ultimately ensnare youth and teens. And this includes elements such as infinite scroll. It is like infinite scroll. Like, you can't stop scrolling. It don't say you want to stop or you just going to keep going. Okay? I got the, That's why I be a delete mine. I just delete the whole app. When I can't stop scrolling, I just delete it. Now, <clears throat> infinite scroll, autoplay, stories and reels, and frequent notifications. Now, experts believe that many components contribute to extreme FOMO, the fear of missing out. That's why we got a lot of folks out here that can't seem to get off social media or take social media breaks when they need to. Or they, they may be on to something here. I didn't know we can sue for, you know, well, yeah, we can't sue for emotional distress and trauma. Okay? Since young people are often incapable of putting their phones down on their own, I don't think that this is just limited to young people. We got some, some grown adults in here. Now, putting down their phones, Meta is reportedly not helping them orchestrate healthy boundaries. Now, the lawsuits arrived after a two-year investigation accusing Meta of violating multiple consumer laws aimed at protecting children, okay? Now, the joint filing pointed out harmful effects using such addictive features in the app, insomnia, depression, and anxiety have all been linked to constant social media use. And too much scrolling on the timeline can also cause a lack of focus. Listen to me now. Through shocking lawsuits such as these are not new for Meta. Okay? Now, baller alert put this out. And here's what I'm going to say. Now, they done launched 40, 41 states got lawsuits suing on behalf of our children. I hope you're following me here. For un they, they ain't even put an amount because they, they want the jury that's probably addicted, that's going to be on their smartphones while deliberating against these companies and still going to use them and report on them even after they award all of this money that they going to charge us for. That's why they pushing the subscribe button and not the follow button on Instagram. Because they need that money. I know people that need money because I need a little bit. You understand? So I know how it go. You feel me? Now, here's the issue that I have. Meta ain't got no children. 
Facebook ain't got no cheering. Instagram ain't got no cheering. The U.S. government ain't suing for their kids. They suing for our kids that they ain't met. So why we ain't getting the check? How they going in asking and suing for our children? And, and, and these are my kids. It's like somebody else claiming your kids on their taxes. Now, I'm, 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 I'm thrown off here. The, the, the help me now. Am, am I off? Because I'm trying to figure out, okay, so let, let's just say time two is addicted, right? What, what, what constitutes addicted? How many hours on social media are we talking? How many minutes are we talking? Loss of sleep are we talking to consider insomnia? What is needed to be allocated in, uh, towards anxiety and depression so I can submit my claim? And we should have added adults up in there, adults. I'm just saying, where is the money going? It's going everywhere but us. Overseas, Afghanistan, Russia, who know, everybody getting money but us. And we got student loans. Okay, we got real bills around here. Real bills. Put, put up the time. I want to see. I want to see. I'm trying to figure out where do I submit my claim. Every time they sue Wells Fargo and Bank of America and all them, they give us about $2. But I'm trying to get in on the big money because the only people that's winning is these lawyers. They, they, they file it, putting all that paperwork in. So why, if it's my kid that's suffering, where's my check? Why I got to split it with a lawyer? If y'all truly care about these, the, 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 the mental health and welfare of these children that's being taken advantage of, I need my, I need my, I need my check. I need my set aside. What do they call it at the end of the year? Uh, child tax credit. I need it. Mm-hmm. That's why Elon Musk, put, bring him up. That's why Elon Musk out here. Now, I said, now, he capping. I don't think Elon Musk got the type of money he be, he be bragging about. Because the way he charging over here at X, I'm about to X myself off this Twitter. I'm about to just go black. You understand what I'm saying? Every time I turn around, the fees is going up, but my followers is going down. He doing a bot reboot every day. And now, after you done took our little money to be verified, I need a verified account because people, unfortunately, I have to pay for it because if not, people going to be posing as me. And I can't have that, especially with all this AI and stuff. And they, they, they quit to try to make up a lie on me and try to sue. No, I, that was not my account. This is my account. Follow me on Twitter, by the way, okay? The unwind with Tasha. I can't add the K because they stopped the characters. But now he, after he said he was going to charge each user a dollar, after X has depreciated from $44 billion to $4 billion, I said, ooh, woo. I need some saltines. He lost a lot of money. I don't know how you lose money that fast. That's, that's, that's the type of money you, you just want to, you know, Everybody going down. Because how I'm going to pay for it. That's like you buying a house. You know what I'm saying? Shout out if you don't bought a house. And you buy a house because you excited because the house looks amazing, right? And the house is 600000 And you signed the papers for 600000 right? It's beautiful. Then you get in there to the house and you realize the cabinets is, and the floors is laminate. <laughs> the blinds is plastic from the Dollar Tree. The cabinets are scratching. It's a lot of stuff going on. The towel is linoleum. But they don't, they don't sold you a $600,000 house. And so when you do get it appraised, they say, ma'am, this house ain't worth but a hundred. Now, that's happened a lot. A lot. I know somebody right now in my family going through that. I said, I told you not to buy that house. If it ain't hurricane proof, you don't, you don't buy nothing. If it can't withstand a hurricane, you know. Or, or a tornado, no. That's what happened in his house. That's what happened to X. That's what happened to Twitter. As soon as he changed the name, it really went down. Because Twitter, it's, it's an experience. 
It's an experience. You don't just change from Twitter and we be tweeting and we got Twitter fingers and we got Twitter chats. Just a whole, you just done debranded a whole platform that has literally, literally just, just, just been monumental for everybody. I mean, President Trump got, got X'd out of there because, well, yeah, X'd, I guess, you know, that's what he should call it because he X'ing everybody out, you know what I'm saying? Asking them, as soon as they say, uh, we charge you a dollar, I, I ain't got it. I literally... Literally had Apple, uh, uh, what they do, they came up on my screen today and said, uh, payment decline. I, I said, not not Apple on my phone looking for some money. <laughs> I can't make this up. But now he's talking about he want to take a billion dollars and, and ask Wikipedia to change their name to Dickopedia. I said, this man ain't got no money. Your cause is, is depreciating, Okay. Your platforms is depreciating. You keep sleeping on people's couches. You, you think it's a flex to not have a house. Your baby mama looking for her kids because you allegedly done sold them. You need to sit down somewhere and go tan. Moving on. It's hot as hell up in here. I, I, can we get these people an extra few dollars just to leave the AC on until I'm done with my show on Friday? We got to talk to the landlord. We got to talk to the landlord. Y'all enjoying the show? Now, I heard that Russell, Russell Wilson, Mr. Wilson, um, had rented out a Waffle House for Sierra for her birthday. I guess you know every every pregnant woman got they uh, you know, they cravings. I had mine with what was my craving? Longhorn steak. Yeah, it was Longhorn steak with Lamine, right? You you gonna say hi? What you We see you. You ain't gonna say hi? The hell? Oh, Lord Jesus. City. Well, he trying to cool his wife off, you know. <laughs> he don't want me to tell him I'm tired tonight. He can't talk. Listen, but I heard he, you know, he was trying to do something romantic, so he had them put, like, little table sheets and stuff on, on the Waffle House, you know, table and everything. And, you know, he gave her her cravings, you know, because she pregnant again. And, you know, like every, like I said, every woman goes through their cravings, right? Right. We can all agree, right? You know, but unfortunately at the Waffle House, you know, um, the Waffle House go always Waffle House, right? And this was they started. <laughs> he didn't plan on this being his server. Now, I need y'all to write in the chat <laughs> what you think she took. Soma, Percocet, <laughs> out of <van. laughs> what you, Which one you think she took? <laughs> this was Sierra. This was Sierra's cook that night. <laughs> I know that food was good as hell. Play, you gotta play one more time, Jay. <laughs> Which one? Y'all gotta write in the chat. Which one you think she took? Come on now, Soma. <laughs> nah, Booger Sugar, she would be moving a lot faster than that. Come on now. <laughs> Come on. I need y'all to get it right. Which one? What y'all say? Somebody said lithium heroin. <laughs> I was, I was going to put their anniversary video up here. I said, I ain't going to do <laughs> But this was Sierra and Russell Williams. <laughs> go back. Hold on, Jasmine. Jasmine, go back. Because when she did the, when she caught herself, what was that? Hold on, hold on, start it again. Start it again. No, go back, go back to the end. When she, when she was up here, when she was up. Oh. Oh. I love the woman. I swear to God. Look at it. She was on one leg. <laughs> I'm 
I'm crying right now. <laughs> that, and this Waffle House was in Florida. <laughs> Just by the way. Let me see. The, oh, my. In white wine news. In white wine news. I'm sorry, yo. <laughs> I got to get my shit to go. Move, moving on. All right. Oh, Lord. Okay. <sighs> All right. And on another serious note. So, uh, Chris Jenner, do you have a picture of Chris Jenner? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You sure? Okay, I got to explain this to people real quick. I got to stop crying. <laughs> That lady was. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay, hold on. We're gonna get Christian up here. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm focused. I'm focused. I'm focused. It was too funny. <sighs> <clears throat> All right, now Chris Jenner, um, you know, does sent down, the, just like she sent, you know, her ex husband onto the other side. And then her late husband on to the other side. Um, Tristan, you know, he's on his way to the other side. You know, every time I look at him in the videos, his, his thighs and stuff is getting thicker and, and his ass is getting fatter. I said, these men, when they get around these women, even Kanye was getting thick thighs and his booty was getting big. We saw it on the boat. Bianca looked like she ain't cooking, so he losing a lot of weight, you know. Um... But it just seemed like, you know, we already know it's the, it's the curse that everybody says, right? Not only is it the curse, Trisha don't want to leave, okay? We've been trying to help him get out, uh, but he don't want to leave um, because, you know, Chris Jenner has, um, she signed him. She signed him. So she got him a job at ESPN, um, and now he's going to be a host, and he was so excited about that. He gets so excited when he's talking to these women. He started talking like them. I wish I had that video. Oh, my God. Trisha be like, like, are you serious? Like, you really got me a job? Like, you're, you're the cri-. I'm like, you better. So, you know, Chloe, she been, she been keeping him around for content because she really ain't got nothing going on in her life, you know? So she been exploiting his family because ain't nothing else to exploit on her family, right? And so Chris Jenner, because she got stakes now in, in Tristan, um, and now he is her, her what do you call it, protege? What, what do you call it? The, she, apprentice? He signed. He signed to her. And in order for him to do his best work, Chris Jenner has asked Chloe many, many times, just please take this man back. Can you please just do it? You know, he lost his mama, his brother, you know, his, his brother got a little learning disability and stuff. He lived right across the street from you. You know, he the kid's daddy. Let him come home. Chloe said, uh-uh. The only reason he's staying is because you need content for this show. But he ain't staying. He cop blocking. She been trying to sleep with somebody else, and Chris Jenner said no. So Chris Jenner is so desperate, she done sent Malika down to the restaurant. <laughs> you got to watch. When your mama, when your mama plotting against you, you know she ain't shit. They go, go ahead and roll this video. Go ahead. And that, you know, hmm. we had our family together. Like, that's what everyone wants. But I'm not attracted to trust. Like, I'm not like, wow. That's a big say. She ain't attracted because his thighs and ass is not bigger than hers. You know, she got hers reduced because, you know, she's trying to appeal to white men. Now, she's done nursing uh, black men, impoverished black men who, uh, yeah, who like to smoke a little dope and fuck hoes on the side. Okay? Mo go ahead. Keep going. You're still attracted to him, Yeah, no, no, right? no. I know he's a very handsome. No, no, Tristan is so handsome. He's, a like, a beautiful... Creature, yeah, statue of a human. <laughs> like, I'm not, like, blind, but I can't think about, like, kissing him on the lips. Like, none of that would... Pause. Yeah, her mama got a uh, Bruce Jenner up in... Well, I'm sorry, what's, what's Caitlyn? Go ahead, go ahead. It's just not in my wheelhouse. Okay. Maybe think about it this way. Maybe you might want to try to save your family. Maybe you might want to... Pause. Every time 
time them girls talk. Every time Malika and her sister talk, I just don't believe it. I, I just don't believe it. It's like it don't match. Like how Tristan's voice don't match his voice no more. I'm like, ain't no way no Jamaican man like you talk like these white hoes. Keep playing. I get this a shot despite. I've tried to save my family a couple times. And you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. Guess what, buddy? I got no more plants. That's right. Okay? <laughs> Stop Have laughing. It your way. Stop <laughs> laughing at me. I just want, like, my life a little bit. So it's not never? No. Well, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know what it is. It's definitely not now. don't want her. I just don't want him. No, he don't want you. He wants your mama. Trisha about to lay dick on Corey. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Corey better watch out because Tristan thighs is thicker than Corey's. Now, now Corey got bigger titties, right? But Tristan is much taller and they say he much longer and his thighs are just a lot thicker and he, you know, and he got just a little bit more money, and he youthful, so he can go a lot faster. You know? I said, Chris gonna get her damn money. Moving on. Y'all enjoying the show? We need a break. It ain't break time. Okay. Hope y'all enjoying the show. Y'all make sure y'all like this video. Subscribe. Well, you gotta subscribe to comment. So that's how we play it over here. You wanna come in my house? You gotta take your shoes off. Okay. You want to come in my house, okay? You take your shoes off. You put your jacket to the side. You speak to everybody. You say hello over here, all right? And if you want a plate or some water, you need to wash your hands, okay? You don't walk around my house. You don't go looking in my bedroom. That's none of your business. You're going to use the guest bathroom, and you're going to get out here, and you're going to get to know people before we fully let you in. So if you new, new, say you new, new, but we still got to get to know you before we let you, before we let you in the kitchen. But welcome, all right? Y'all be nice out there in the comments. In the meantime, all right, after the break, we definitely got Jada Pink, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. Destiny Williams, who else? Jonathan Majors, we got a major update with him. Lil Wayne, Tori Bree, she wasn't even supposed to be part of the news, but she done made news, so I got to bring it up, okay? Definitely going to be talking about Candace uh, 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 Dillon, and Chris Bassett and these these allegations that's been floating around. I don't know how they got out here. I, I couldn't tell you. On him cheating. I don't know who put that out there. It wasn't me. DJ Envy and Kaya versus Ugly Red and uh, Sugiyama. Mm-hmm. All that and more coming up after the break. We got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means Bali raise a glass too. We'll be right back. Hold that thought. A couple of years back, I had a bad reaction to some cheap hair dye, and it unfortunately put me in the hospital. My friends had asked me to seek legal action, but I didn't, okay? And I kind of wish that I knew of companies like Morgan & Morgan. When you're injured, you deserve compensation. And the size of the law firm matters. Morgan & Morgan is one of America's largest personal injury firms with over 800 lawyers and over 100 offices nationwide. And the best part is Morgan & Morgan is completely free, unless they win your case, of course. Over 3 million people currently trust Morgan & Morgan and getting started is super easy. Just check out the links in the comments section for more information now. You say you've always yeah. been attracted. Always. Yeah, there, it, it, it just is what it is. Like, I, I, I can't tell you why. I can just tell you in junior high, when Brenda walked by, mm -hmm. I looked, you know, when... What Brenda look like? Brenda, Brenda had the booty. L Cool J, I think, <laughs> described her one time. But <laughs> <laughs> Brenda with the butt. Boy. Listen. Uh, and then, you know, Karen, she didn't have all that. Yo, y'all got to stop spraying deodorant on y'all coochies in the, in the strip club. Oh, God. If it ain't fresh, it ain't fresh. Old pastor told me Noel Jones told him Jamal Bryan okay. and a whole bunch of other preachers uh -huh. 
<laughs> so him and a whole bunch Jamal. Um, I'm trying to figure out who else is in the room. Jamal stay trying to threaten somebody. Uh, now you got every wife, girlfriend, huh. and side bitch on your page waiting to get throated by a banana. On some grapes. On some grapes and chocolate. You even got people's grandmamas. Even pastors. I'm not gonna mention no names, but I do have I do have a lot of lot of persons come true. Not everything with video, you know, because you got to respect some person's privacy. Yeah. But yeah. But you know why they call it. Yeah. I drunk some liquor, smoked some weed, and then uh, I took this other pill that I don't know what the name of it is. Oh, and uh, I went in there, and then I, I, I was so sleep and drowsy. I woke up in the morning, and she was laying upside down with her legs up in the air. And then a couple of days later, she called me and said she was pregnant. And I got a baby. And it's your baby. It's my baby. We did three DNA tests. Because at first I didn't know. I was like, oh my God, this is not going to work. I'm just over here just for the hell of it. But you didn't fuck her. No. He did, though. And we're back. Okay, okay. I need to stop yelling. Like I said, I got to save my voice, okay? It's still coming back from last week. Let me see what they talking about in the comments real quick. Hold on. Oh, and I'm drinking. Uh, this bottle is the Apothic White, okay? It tastes like pears in a bottle. It don't get me too slizzard. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's, I'm going to finish this bottle before we move on to this Pinot Grigio here, okay? We'll probably will get to this one when we get to TashaKLive.com when we spill that Dwight uh, Howard wine and this Papoose Fresh wine, okay? Because, you know, it's three sides to a story. We got her side. We got, we got allegedly his side. And then we're going to have y'all side. <laughs> Our side. But you can get both of these bottles at Publix, okay? Less than $10, okay? That we got a budget on wine around here. That's it. We either get it free or it's under $10. Now, you love Apothic Eva. Oh. <laughs> all right, let's go. Okay, let me let me stay focused, y'all. I got to get back into the swing of working. I was enjoying my days off too much. Okay, Jada Pinkett. Mm-hmm. Interesting numbers here. So, apparently... Um, So apparently, actress uh, Jada Pinkett's uh, Britney Spears memoir sells more copies than Jada Pinkett Smith's Worthy. Actress reportedly unable to make high spot on several bestseller lists. Maybe she should get naked and twirl in a circle like Britney in the house that Will brought her. Cause I ain't seen her do no no interviews or nothing, but you know, and we'll talk about it. I'm gonna tell you why this happened. Cause a lot of people like to say, well, it's not fair to report, you know, Britney Spears versus Jada Pinkett. It is, it's fair. We're gonna talk about it, okay? It's really fair. And I'm gonna tell you why. It ain't got nothing to do with no colorism here, cause they both white. Cause the shit that Jada out here doing, only white women do and get away with it. Black women don't get away with doing what she do. Now, according to reports in the Jasmine brand, okay, uh, the movie star's new memoir, Worthy, failed to top multiple bestseller lists because I ain't heard no New York Times bestseller or anything, despite her star power and headline and revelations. Now, I didn't know Jada had star power. I didn't. It was always Will. Clout chasing, okay? Now, on, uh, one report notes that Jada Pinkett's bio novel released October 17th only reached the number 81 spot. On Amazon Books bestsellers, on Kindle and at Barnes and Nobles, the book reportedly didn't even make the top 100 list. And the e version of the memoir reportedly only sold just 2,700 copies by the end of last week. It's a couple things here. Let me write them down. Hold on for a second. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm marketing is my background here. Okay, give me a second, y'all. Okay, so 2,700 copies. Okay, all right. So your talent. Too fucking much. Okay. All right. That's what's going on. Okay. Then you lie. All right. So, <clears throat> now, despite sharing some jaw dropping truths about what's happening in her marriage, see, she should have left her jaw out of this and out 
of these niggas' pants, and we wouldn't be having these issues, uh, about what's happening in her marriage to the fellow actor Will Smith in the project. It seems the 52-year-old faced some steep competition. It's noted that other celebrity memoirs released before or after Pinkett Smith's did uh, significantly better in terms of book sales. Pop star Britney Spears' memoir, The Woman and Me, released October 24th, which was after... Jada Pinkett's book came out and reportedly has already outsold Worthy at Barnes and Nobles. Okay, I didn't even know people still go on Barnes and Nobles. I only go in there for the coffee at Starbucks. Okay. Uh, also, as written, I read free books at Barnes and Nobles. I just go read every day, grab the book. I don't have to buy it because I ain't got it. Now, as previously covered, excerpts from the Toxic Singers book, okay, uh, said that the former Bay Justin Timberlake, used blanket bl bl scent, black scent around black artists and talked her into getting an unaliving a baby because he wasn't ready to be a father i mean her book was like this is stuff we didn't know about it was like she was confirming a lot of rumors and stuff but you you know hold on for a second latasha k intercy i should need my my cut okay all right um and so additionally the book had also about other celebrity reads at bars and nobles including john stamos memoir i don't know if what it is if you would have if you would have me told me and Ar arnold schwarzenegger i love his name he's the only one that gets to say the n-word okay uh self-help book it's arnold schwarzenegger he's arnold schwarzenegger he's the only one that gets to say the n-word yeah what's wrong with that's his name this is his name. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Write it in the chat. What is this man's name? I'm not lying on this man. He's the only white man on this planet that can say it with the E-R. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Self-help book, Be Useful, Seven Tools for Life, okay? Now, with Pinkett Smith's extens extensive promotion of the book and all the chatter around the novel, it seemed there was a good chance the project would fly off the shelves, okay? Just like her pussy flew. Um, but it didn't happen, okay? It was a couple things wrong here. And, and if I was a marketing uh, uh, rep and, you know, book agent, I would tell her, um, first of all, you talk too much, okay? All right? Uh, there's something mysterious about writers, you know, that you have to leave for, you know, people who read books. And unfortunately, your audience doesn't read. They listen to Tasha K. Now, I don't know how you attend on uh, competing with Tasha K, but she already has your business out here for free. Okay? And so we've got to figure out a way around this bitch here. Okay? <laughs> She's fucking up the thing. Now, um, and two, um, you talk too much. Okay? And that's, that's a problem when you talk too much. Like I said, there's got to be a certain myst uh, uh, mystery behind a writer that entices the reader to want to read more. And number three, you lie too much. Just be lying. Now, how is a reader, how are we supposed to convince a reader to believe you and believe that you actually have a book on the shelves if they can't believe shit that come out of your mouth. So how are we going to know you even wrote it? How? Now, Brittany, on the other hand, has been in her house twirling for years with no panties on. Okay? And everybody has wondered what she's done, you know, all these years with no men. With no panties on. So it's, she has, it's the, it's the mystery. And furthermore, Tasha K, because she's been in the house, hasn't been able to spill any of her wine like yours because unlike you, Brittany puts all of her men on NDAs. Okay? <laughs> so much so that Justin Timberlake is on the NDA and couldn't even comment on the book that she wrote about him. Make this up. Jada, we're done here. Get the hell out of my office. Pussy's worthless. So much. You don't name the book worthy. But your pussy is worthless, child. Worthless. Okay? It belongs to a dead man. 
Moving on. Remember, this is wine gossip comedy. All of the information here is alleged. <laughs> Remember, the Bible was booked on uh, 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 built on gossip. Speaking of gossip, it said down here in love. Is this love and marriage, Huntsville, in Alabama? Uh, Destiny, right? This is Destiny. Let me get a name because you know I don't be watching the show like that. You know what I'm saying? But I do be. I do be following their reports now what's going on in their household. I just can't be following them lies they be putting out. I want the truth. I want the side bitches they taking the five guys. That's what I want. <laughs> now, apparently, uh, you know what? I'm going to let them tell you. Let's, let's go on and let the local news down there in uh, uh, Huntsville uh, give us the update here. Uh, go ahead, Sarah, reporting live from where? Destiny Which Peyton Williams is accused of forging her ex-husband's name on a utilities contract without his knowledge. Play it one more time. Destiny Peyton Williams is accused of forging her ex-husband's name on a utilities contract without his knowledge. She is apparently... Now, now hold on for a second. Thank you so much, Destiny, for reporting live down there in Huntsville and keeping us here updated on, on YouTube, Facebook, Rumble, as well as uh, Bigo. okay? TikTok is coming soon. Now, um... This is interesting because I, I didn't know that people can go to jail for putting somebody name else's, like they bills in somebody else's name. Like, this is something we do in our culture, right? We put our stuff in other people's names. We've been doing trade lines before they became legal, okay? They had to make it legal because of us. And furthermore, do they have kids together? Let me pull up the chat. Let me pull up the chat for a second. Do they have children together? Do they? But I, that's what I'm saying. So she's not right. Do they have children together? Somebody update me on this. I don't know. Huh? That's not fraud, okay? And we must got white people in the chat. That's not fraud. But because when, by the time I was 18... Hell, even now, my mama got lights, water, cable, daddy, in your name. It's the family name. Everybody live off Trump, right? They all got his last name. But does she have children by him? She got a son. So if they ain't got no lights in the house, and he ain't putting on the lights, and, and her credit too bad, or her light bill six or seven months behind, and she didn't qualify for the discounted rate because she on television, then this ain't stealing at all. And furthermore, when you got a baby with him, ex-husband or not, that's half her social security number until that little boy is under the 18 years old, until he over 18 years old. Destiny? What's her name? Destiny? Baby, I'm gonna need you to fight for your destiny down here. Don't you let them crackers pick you up. Somebody better go. I'm gonna bail her. I forget. I'm going down there with the cash app. I sure am. I am. I'm going down there with the cash app, and I'm going to get destiny, okay? Because now the baby ain't got no lights in the house and his mama out the house. That's what we're doing? That's what we're doing? What did she do so bad for him to go down there and file a police report on his baby mama for a $400 light bill? And in Alabama, it ain't even that expensive. Yeah. See, y'all gonna piss me off today. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Don't do that to me today. Let, let, let me be divorced from shit. All the stuff staying in his name. I'm not getting nothing in my name, okay? I don't care new wife or not. She better use her name. Don't play with me. Moving on, Destiny, I'm going to go get her. That's been a major update. Now, I like that he righted this wrong, okay? He did. He said he learned his lesson. He's not, he's not going to lose his career. He see that Denzel is going strong. Morris Chestnut is going strong. And these men have never, ever had to fight 
for their careers and their life over sleeping with Caucasian women because they got black women at the house and they pay Caucasian women on the side to not say anything. But in this case, when you put a Caucasian woman in the front, she's going to expect to only be in the front. And so he got the memo. He sat down with the big dogs and realized that he needed to switch things up. Do you have the other picture? He switched things around, Jasmine. He switched things around. Okay, he just moved a, a few pieces, you know, made some adjustments in his life. Okay, he did. Now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna switch it around. Give us a second. The story's got to go with the story. There you go. Okay, switch some things around. He said, "I'm I'm gonna follow the leadership of Denzel and all the greats that have come before me, including Will." And I'm a dog him out on the side, but just not publicly. Okay? She understands that. I'm gonna give her what she needs, which is a baby, and I'm gonna take what I need, which is a white woman. <laughs> and so he got to go to court. He got to go to trial. But before he go, white men are waking up. Mm-hmm. You gotta understand. White white supremacy, they ain't taking this shit no more. Okay, so if you're gonna run down to the police and try to Emmett Till a man, and they find out that you're lying? Oh, you going down there too. So they done got, what's the girl name? What's her name? What's the hell for name? Grace Jabari. How she got a black name? Who her mama them? Who her people? How this white girl got a black name, Grace Jabari? What does she sound like? She mixed with, is she Middle Eastern or something? She from Aladdin them, is Aladdin them her people? Who, Grace, I don't believe that's her real name. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. But, yeah. So, apparently, she getting charged, too, for taking the cell phone, okay? And then he said, I think he said he got slapped or something. And then she said he choked. And so, both of them going to jail, pretty much, okay? Just like they do it on cops. When they show up, they not asking no question. You hit him, he hit you, you're both going to jail, okay? And so, um, because white men is tired. They tired of y'all not, you know, uh, 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 holding them down. They're tired of y'all embarrassing them, and when they're losing their jobs, because they out here, you know, using excessive force on these big men, y'all want to run down there. But then you want to lie, and then they got to the, know. So you going to jail right with them, too, okay? And they are tired of y'all uh, 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 creating a uh, uh, inside on their race. Because every time you lay down with one of these 12 years of slave Negroes, they gone. Poof. Gone. They ain't white no more. They used to be white. Y'all, white girls, y'all better wake up, okay? Wake up and stop calling the police. You know you had no business looking at that man's phone. You know, you know what he doing. You know who he talking to. So what you looking for? You got your check, right? Your penthouse, right? Ain't none of your business. Get up. Let's go. <laughs> Moving on. Now I'ma leave these glasses on. Cause I want you, I want to see if y'all see what I see. Because apparently, Lil Wayne was given a wax figure, right? And what I see, <laughs> Jasmine, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready, Jasmine. I wasn't ready. Now, now up top is Lil Wayne. Now, this man down here is the Spot'em Got'em, right? So I, because I, I reported on Spot'em Got'em, you know, they spotted him and they got him. They shot him a few times. You know what I'm saying? He's still living, though. He's, not only is he living, he got his own wax figure with one hit song. Go ahead. Go back. Because they trying to say that this is Lil Wayne. Why they got Lil Wayne coming out of his shirt like that? Where, where has Lil Wayne ever did this on stage? <laughs> where, I done see him. I done grew up with that man. That man used to come to Panama City Beach, okay? For spring break when he first started. He was 13 years old. I ain't never seen Lil Wayne do this here. <laughs> and look at his face. That, <laughs> I 
I gotta see the comments. I gotta see the look. I can't. You can't make this up. I'm telling. Lil White said that ain't me. He went into it. I said, they might well just go and give it to this man. This man got nine lives. I swear to God, he done been shot. His name, you got to be careful what you name yourself. You got to be careful. His name is Spot him, got him. And every time you turn around down here in Miami, they don't spot him and they don't got his ass. He was laid up in the hospital uh, a couple months ago with his foot in the sling. You know what I'm saying? And his face wrapped up. Shut up. Shut up. But who y'all think it is, for real? Do y'all think it's Spot'em Got Him or y'all think that's Lil Wayne? They kind of made Lil Wayne look a little... Look a little. <laughs> look like he was getting ready to audition for a Tyler Perry role. <laughs> look like he about to go see him. <laughs> he about to have a private meeting with Tyler Perry <laughs> at the house on the lake that you got to take a helicopter to or a boat to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They say that's disrespectful. Because Lil Wayne got way more wrinkles than that. Lil Wayne has always had a wrinkle face. He's always, I'm telling you, he's always looked 92 in the face. Even when he was 13. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he just did this way he looks. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> All right, here we go. I ain't even messed up yet. I ain't even mess up. I got, when I tell you I got fucked up for three days with y'all down here in Miami, I'm, y'all not doing that to me no more. I'm going to leave sober when we get to Houston. When I leave Houston, I'm going to leave sober. I'm going to leave so sober, I'm going to be able to do my show on the internet the next day. I'm not messing with y'all like that no more. You're not doing me like that. I'm not coming to work with no shades on. They know now. Houston is the next city. And you better have your money together. I don't want to hear. Uh, y'all, y'all was hustling brunch tickets. I said, no, they not hustling brunch. People were buying brunch tickets and upping the price. Because <laughs> we only let 100 people into the brunch. I said, look at you. I got to sell them higher now. There was a commodity. Because you know, I had to control the amount of people that were going to be in there that I was taking pictures with. I can't take pictures with 300 people. We had a hundred, and I had a hard time doing that. I was like, and I like to talk to people. I like to dance. I was getting fucked up. I was, I was on an empty stomach with Casamigos. Okay, I didn't get no eggs, no jerk chicken. I didn't get no damn fried chicken. I didn't get no oxtails. Y'all ate, man. I didn't get nothing. I left on Casamigos only. Stomach was messed up for weeks. All right, let's get it. Now I was minding my business. Why nobody talking about this helpful? Now, just in case y'all don't know, this is Tori Bree. According to her baby daddy, Rich the Kid, this is Rihanna's doppelganger. That's what he said. Then his word, not mine, okay? His words, not mine. He said that he don't need nobody else, that his baby, his boo, Look better than Rihanna, so he don't need no more pussy. What he said, child, that's what he said. I, I, I didn't make it up. But according to Google and Ring, y'all hit the wine glass if you got a Ring camera, okay? Hit the wine glass if you got a Ring camera. There was a chick that had him down there on the Ring camera knocking on the door. This the door. <laughs> With a check, he was like, how much to get rid of this baby? <laughs> I said, he was talking in the, uh, uh, in the video on the ring. I said, bitch, how much to get rid of this side ba This ain't my baby, but I'm going to pay for it to get. I said, how ain't your baby, but you're going to pay for it to get, to get out alive. In a culture now where you could go to jail, bro. To jail. Now, listen, we wouldn't have had this wine. I'm going to bring it home for you in a second. We wouldn't have had this wine because we just revisiting old wine, okay, since since they, they want to they wanna mind my business, right? Because I was show, I was show minding my own business. I said, what well, nobody even talking about you? Your baby daddy ain't even talking about you no more. He ain't said nothing about Rihanna in years, okay? Now, I got a DM from her, random. 
I don't know what she was feeling. I don't know. I don't know. But in this DM, okay, this DM came in. What, what day is it? Yesterday. Yep, it was yesterday because I screenshotted it to you today, Jess. Bree, Rihanna's doppelganger, according to her ba her baby daddy, Rich the Kid. Okay, he rich enough to be paying for all the uh, abortions in the United States of America. She got 2.8 million followers, and it says, cut the shit. All you do is break women down for clout. Y'all reading that? Do you see that? I'm over here reading. You read too. It says, cut the shit. All you do is break women down for clout. Now, remember, I have to remind y'all, this is wine, gossip, and comedy. Everything's alleged over here, okay? Anything can and will be used against you on this show. <laughs> All right? Now, I don't know where this came from. I, I almost replied, but I just followed her. I just hit the follow button. I was like, she, might, she probably just wanted my attention. She just wanted to be followed. This is my internet, so let me go ahead and give her what she want. <laughs> so I said, now, Tori, you said I break women down for clout. That's what you said. You said, that it's not wine, gossip, and comedy. I break women down for clout. I said, now, nah, I'm trying to figure out how many, how many women your baby daddy, Rich, the kid, done broke down. Uh-huh. And how many uteruses don't work no more. How many charges would he or the women he's impregnating and yelling at through ring cameras saying, bitch, you're going to get rid. This is not my baby. You need to get rid. How you doing, ma'am? You good? Yeah, he in the hallway. <laughs> bitch, I said you're going to get rid of that motherfucking baby. But you said it when yours, rich. Bitch. <laughs> you don't get rid of that. Open this door. I'm scared. I'm gonna call the police. God damn it, bitch. So they got to go file lawsuits to get their money that he done promised them. 30000 to get rid of a baby. Oh, that baby gone. Me. It's gone. What baby? I, I don't know nothing about no baby. I, I, got some, I got some dog babies. I don't know nothing about no baby, right? But I'm trying to figure out how do I break women down for clouding your baby daddy is out here busting them down. And breaking them down, and then they post the video, and there's your clout. That's Let me tell you something. See this. See this. Is why I can't be real? Cause I be like, I be like hesitant between. Can I be really real, or do I gotta be like Instagram real? Uh, uh, uh -huh. Like which one is it? Cause I'll be yeah. like real, real. Yeah. Cause it's a, it's a couple bitches I gotta pick up, at least two. Uh -huh. Should I drop their name or not? Yeah, hmm. you should drop them. Go. Oh, uh, you know what they're dropping to his name. This cute looking at blood shit. It's two bitches I got to be Cause she dis- Cause they disrespect me. Mm. What are you talking about? I'm just saying. <clears throat> I feel like if shit go down, it's cool. But like, mm. if you know what it is, it's like, what? What bitches you gonna be Oh, you wanna play dumb? <laughs> I'ma DM them directly. I ain't no Instagram bitch. I'm a real bitch. One of them is a- to. All you gotta do is Google what bitch is a to him for features. And her song is not even hitting. So yeah, let's uh do that shade. And she ain't gonna do shit about it because I got more shade to throw. Who's the second bitch you talking about? Hold on, wait. First, first off, my bitches is the fuck out of all y'all weak ass Hollywood fake ass bitches. You Atlanta fake wanna be star bitches. You fake wanna chase after your baby daddy, but your baby daddy fucking everybody bitches. Yeah, the Jadas. Bitch, what? Jadas, the whoever bitches. No we got questions. I got answers. No story to do with. It. Don't say Jada. Who the f would say that though? I don't know what I'm saying. Someone just wrote me somebody. You said somebody like Jada. That IG live got real, real head sweat real quick. Well, you can't understand that. He's saying, you know, he from Atlanta. Oh, because I have so many stories that I can oh. tell, like, the truth to. Thank you for that text message. Because I'm trying to figure out, when have I ever got on live? The 
First of all, the only people getting no lie to break bitches down is your baby daddy. <laughs> Rich the kid, because he got enough money to abort the bitches he breaking down. Okay? And you. I mean, you hopping in people DMs, and then you want to say that I'm... I and, and your baby daddy is out here with giving statements, saying he want to make a public apology to his Rihanna... For the disrespect and love, John, what does that say? Huh? You know I'm drunk. Now, nah, hold on. I would like to make a public apology to my best friend. And okay, that's, that's the problem right there. She's your best friend. You should have said woman, wife. Why haven't you jumped the broom with her? And then my love of my fiancé for any disrespect, disloyalty, or allegations of anything. I'm a grown man, and I've done wrong, and I'm owning up to asking for forgiveness from a beautiful, strong Rihanna lookalike that has taken care of not only me, but our family for years. I'm not like these others. <laughs> I know I've been wrong, but I want to be right. <laughs> now, I'm trying to figure out, Notori, I don't know where this message came from, baby. Like I said, this is wine gossip and comedy over here. I don't... I don't understand. Did 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 Rich tell you that he was? Did you get a ring camera with Rich trying to pay me? Huh? I'm trying to figure that out. Go back to go back to the uh to the chat. Did you? Is this the reason why you in my DM? Because I'm gonna be honest with you, light skinned women. Listen, listen to me. See, this is why y'all don't like me. This is why y'all don't. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure this out. Like, listen to me. Light skinned women. I just, you, you know, it's sad. It's sad that, um, you know, us darker skinned women, you know, we, we don't go, like, we go through this. But, like, you've been a fiance for like five years. And I think this girl is so pretty. I don't know. I don't think she looked better than Rihanna now. And you, y'all got to stop listening to these men, right? That be telling y'all that they look, y'all look like celebrities or y'all the most beautiful women in the world. And they say it to the world. But behind the scenes, you know, it, they, they not saying that to the, to the other beautiful women in the world that they, they dicking down, right? But they, they put you up there because they're projecting you because you light and bright and gullible. And while you over here fussing with me about a nigga that don't want you, okay, that you not enough for, and he really fantasizing about Rihanna, you you need you need to be, you need to go work for Ring and see if you can log into the server and see how many houses he done been to to yell at bitches and ask them for abortions. Remember, remember this is wine gossip and comedy, okay? Wine gossip and comedy, okay? We only talk about what's trending and what's current. And unfortunately, she was currently in my DM. Why I don't know, okay? But I followed her. And I'm going to continue following you and your man, okay, on every doorstep that he's on. Moving on. <laughs> man, we got another show, too, don't we? Oh, Lord Jesus, I'm already hot. I'm already hot. Go ahead and bring it up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, I'm sorry, we got a break, okay? After the break, we got Candace Owens real quick. No, I said, damn, Candace Owens. Candace Dillard, okay? Candace Dillard and Chris Bassett, we got to iron out these cheating allegations. We got to clear this up, okay? Definitely going to be talking about DJ Envy and then Kaya, okay, versus uh, 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 Ugly Red and Sukiyana, okay? All that and more coming up after the break on Unwind with Tasha K, okay? Let's go! A couple of years back, I had a bad reaction to some cheap hair dye, and it unfortunately put me in the hospital. My friends had asked me to seek legal action, but I didn't, okay? And I kind of wish that I knew of companies like Morgan & Morgan. When you're injured, you deserve compensation. And the size of the law firm matters. Morgan & Morgan is one of America's largest personal injury firms with over 800 lawyers and over 100 offices nationwide. And the best part is Morgan & Morgan is completely free, unless they win your case, of course. Over 3 million people currently trust Morgan & Morgan and getting started is super easy. Just check out the links in the comments section for more information now. 
you say you've always yeah. been attracted. Always. Yeah, there it, it it just is what it is. Like I I I can't tell you why. I can just tell you in junior high when Brenda walked by, mm -hmm. I looked, you know, when What Brenda look like? Brenda Brenda had the booty. LL Cool J, I think. <laughs> described her one time but <laughs> <laughs> Brenda with the butt boy. Listen. Uh, and then you know Karen she didn't have all that yo y'all gotta stop spraying deodorant on y'all coochies in the, in the strip club oh god if it ain't fresh it ain't fresh old pastor told me Noel Jones told him Jamal Bryant okay. and a whole bunch of other preachers oh, <laughs> so him and a whole bunch Jamal um, I'm trying to figure out who else is in the room Jamal stay trying to threaten somebody now you got every wife, girlfriend huh. and side bitch on your page waiting to get throated by a banana on some grapes on some grapes and chocolate you even got people's grandmamas even pastors I'm not going to mention no names but I do have I do have a lot of lot of persons come true. Not everything we video, you know, because you got to respect some person's privacy. Yeah. But yeah. But you know why they call it. Yeah. I drank some liquor, smoked some weed, and then uh, I took this other pill that I don't know what the name of it is. Oh, and uh, I went in there, and then I, I, I was so sleeping drowsy. I woke up in the morning, and she was laying upside down with her legs up in the air. And then a couple of days later, she called me and said she was pregnant. And I got a baby. And it's your baby. It's my baby. We did three DNA tests. Because at first I didn't know. I was like, oh my God, this is not going to work. I'm just over here just for the hell of it. But you didn't fuck her. No. He did, though. And we're back. I hope y'all enjoyed the show. Y'all better be liking, sharing. Okay, this video. I'm tired. I really am. But I ain't too tired to socialize. It's like I've been partying for two weeks straight. Three weeks. Six weeks. Okay. All right, now listen, let me let me add some clarity to this story here, okay? I don't know how this story got on the internet here, okay? Now, apparently, some young lady reached out to a digital talk show host, okay? Now, we're, gonna, we're not going to give that talk show host no clout or anything like that over here. We don't mention nobody else's names, okay? Now, apparently, she reached out. She had messages and things like that that appeared to be between her and Candace Dillard's husband of Real Housewives of Potomac, okay, Chris Bassett. Now, um, I did overhear after the story went viral um, that some of her castmates had a little to say about the cheating, alleged cheating scandal uh, that happened. Let's hear what they had to say. You know, I know people are probably going to try to say, oh, we need more proof. You know, we, we need more proof. I've seen a, I've seen enough yeah. to kind of know that some something was done that wasn't supposed to happen. Right. Some, something was done that wasn't supposed to happen. Right. Be careful how you respond or react to other people's drama. Yep. Because your ass might be caught up in some similar shit. Um, hello. And, and when your friends try to tell you about your husband, you might want to listen. <laughs> right. And not get so upset and yeah. turn to a victim and you try to... Yes. I mean... These guys are so stupid. Like, why do they even entertain <laughs> these women? And when I say guys, I'm speaking from, from my own as well. Why do they entertain these thirsty women who are fans? I'm not going to talk about yours. Some, I'm not going to talk about Juan. But I'm just going to say some of these guys are miserable, unhappy. Right. Unhappy at home. They need attention. Yes. They need all um, another a Bravo, a Bravo fan account tried to bring this to our attention a long time ago. Yeah, months. Before we started filming, um, they were bringing a, attention of a number of things surrounding this gentleman. And we decided to ignore it. You're right. To not talk about it. Thank to you, not Giselle. bring it Thank up. you, Robin. To not say anything. We didn't say a word. We Thank didn't you. say one thing. But, You're welcome. But. Now. Nah. Just in case you don't know what they talking about, if you wasn't on TashaKLive.com, let me refresh you here. So this young lady which reached out to a very popular, very well-known digital talk show host, okay, and to tell her story about her allegedly uh, being impregnated by this woman's husband and meeting him, you know, in the DM, okay? So let me go ahead and let her refresh your memory real quick. Then I'm going to come in with my, my two cents, okay, on what happened out here on Tasha K's internet. Let's go. And yet, 
if I had that baby, it would have been a whole situation. You don't want to talk now? Like, how could I? And he told me, if you had this baby, mm. she came to the show, it'd be a whole situation. You got to get rid of it. Mm. And I... And I listened to him, and I think I said he had time. That's mm. all I'm saying. Like I didn't have time, mm. and that's why I talked to you only because like let it be known. He doesn't love her. Mm. This is like this is for fucking facade. Let's be fucking for real. Real housewives. All y'all do is lie about your storyline. Everybody has different people. Let's get that known. And you told me you had abortion, but yet you're still with her? All right. So maybe I'm being petty talking to you. I'm sorry. No, you're good. No, Donald, just pour your heart out. You're good. I can tell you're ready to cry. I ain't, I ain't, cause like Miss Tasha, like he really is a good dude, mm. and like I don't ever take that away from him. Mm. But he's with a fucking horrible woman, and he's trying to please her because she wants to have a storyline, and she wants to be on this show. Mm. But am I not good enough? Like be oh, with me. No, no, like, no, don't, all don't. That don't say hey, that. Fuck all this shit. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm sorry. Are you, are you, how's your mental health right now? Uh, it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah okay. Good. So you ain't having no, no crazy, no suicidal I, thoughts or nothing? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, okay. I'm not. No, no. I love okay. my life. Okay. I love very beautiful. I love my life. I know I'm gorgeous. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Okay. Okay. I just. The fact that he doesn't have, well, no, he does. He just stays there. He stays there to be with her because she needs a storyline. Because without him, she would not be a housewife. Let, 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 let's be fucking for real. Like, she would not be a housewife. And like, I'm sorry, I'm not a housewife. I'm just a regular person. That happens to be a great cook. Can you hand me a yeah. He's, he, like, look, he got, he's good other ass. He's very good. A lot of things more. awesome. Wow. So Miss Tasha, when you do this story, on them ask you, don't bash them too hard. And she really is very nice. I won't bash. I promise you, just oh. for you, I won't bash him. We we ain't gonna. Well, you know, she said she wasn't gonna bash him. <laughs> now, <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest with you. After I got the story, you know, they had she had DMs, and you know, there was another blogger that hit me. Her name is Brava Lita. She's from Canada. She's a pop culture blogger. She said, I, I, I know this girl. I've seen this girl. And we're talking about the girl that was just in the video with the bonnet on, okay? Yeah, thank you, Jess. <clears throat> I said that she had an alleged, you know, unaliving of a baby and things like that, right? And so it seemed, you know, when you look at it, right, the messages and everything, it looks like it could be real. But I'm going to be honest with you. After I spoke with her and she sent me the alleged tape, or a screenshot from a tape that her and Chris got. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. And you know what? The more I think about it, she sounds as if she been talking to these two. Play that video, that audio one more time. Where is that, Jamie? You know, I know... People are probably gonna try to say, "Oh, we need more proof." You mean we need more proof? I've seen an, I've seen enough yeah. to kind of know that 
some something was done that wasn't supposed to happen. Right. Some something was done that wasn't supposed to happen. Right. Be careful how you respond or react to other people's drama. Yep. Because your ass might be caught up in some similar oh. shit. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, and I'm going to state for the record that I do not think that Chris Bassett slept with that woman at all. I don't think he touched her. I don't think he knows her. I think she is just a regular fan of the show, and I can't prove it. But I think them two lonely assholes that we just listened to Set them up. Because, you know, I'm t- I'm t- yeah. there is a war going on. There is a war. Where are their husbands at? Do they got them? Well, where he at? Cheating. So, that's the basketball. They can't find their nigga. That's the problem. There's a war going on. And I'm trying to tell you. Because we as dark-skinned women have been trying to bring light-skinned women back to us to let you know that you are one of us. We are not your enemy. We are tired of y'all being treated like mulattoes. We're tired. We are not in competition with y'all. And just because y'all don't have a man that don't cheat, you don't understand how could he not cheat on her. Well, listen, he he got what he wants. She at home. Y'all, y'all on the internet talking about other people's relationships and not paying attention to your own. I do not think that Chris Bassett hit that. I don't think I, have you seen Candace? Look at that. And I saw the alleged video. It ain't him. It ain't him, because she came back. She was like, I want to do another interview, and I want to try to convince you. They said that I'm a liar. You, you're lying. And I think, honestly, them two put that little girl up to it because she's a huge fan of the show. I think they gave her a few dollars to go get her hair done after she <laughs> she recorded that video with me with the bonnet on, okay? I'm just going to say I don't believe it. And these hoes need to mind their own business. I'm going to have to watch this show. Ain't this the one that, uh, that, 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 that nigga hosted? Is this the show? Yeah, I'm going to have to get in on this. I'm going to have to get in on this. Somebody lying. Somebody motherfucking lying. Okay? Find, find somebody else to make it believable. Let's go. Moving on. <clears throat> I think they said that bitch. I'm not, I'm not lying to you. They, they stories was too similar. I've seen enough. Speaking of similar stories... See, and now I'm not happy to see a man, especially a brown man, because he's not a black man, he's a brown man, <laughs> go to jail for alleged fraud and, and scamming and things. So he's going to do what he's supposed to do, which is cooperate. He's probably going to be given, you know, some probation and things like that, and he's going to be told that he's not going to be allowed to work in real estate ever again, right? Well, I don't think they can do that, but he's just going to watch how he moves, you know? But when I, uh, you know, once I done some digging and stuff like that, I said, you know what? I... Now, I can blame Caesar because Caesar knew better. Caesar had already been to jail for fraud and things like that, so he knew better. But I don't think DJ Envy really knew. You know, I think, you know, and, and this is exclusive. I think he was trying to really keep up with his wife. You know them bags and stuff that his wife and stuff be posted in that, those sharp-ass suits? Gia be posting. Her, that's her daddy money. She's a trust fund baby. So the reason he cried and begged and almost, you know, allegedly unalived himself when he was caught down there with Erica Mena, I don't think he was trying to unalive himself because his wife was going to leave him. I think he was trying to unalive himself because it was Erica Mena. She tend to do that to people. You know what I'm saying? But we're just going down memory lane. But needless to say, you know, DJ Envy has had to work very hard to, to make his money match his wife's money. And that's why he keep impregnating her. So if they do divorce, half the kids go with him and half go with her. Because she can't, he going to try to say she can't afford them all so he can get a spousal support check. Her daddy invented something 
I think it was toaster or something like that. And she's a trust fund baby. She ain't got to work for generations. They got generational wealth, okay? Now, he ain't put that out because he wants people to believe that he's the man of the household. And he's trying to prove to her, you know, to her that he can be what her father was. But unfortunately, he's still green behind the ears. He's still wet behind the ears. You know, never smoked a cigarette before. <laughs> he drink wine coolers. You understand? This is different. And so he's trying to prove that he could be a man and, and really, really take care of these kids because apparently it is her daddy's money that's putting these kids through these private schools and not his $200,000 salary from the Breakfast Club. And so that's why he's had to use iHeartMedia and the airwaves to push uh, this uh, business that him and, you know, the ex-felon, fraud felon Caesar came up with, he would be the face and the voice and get the customers. Caesar would collect the money in bags <laughs> and never deposit it in the bank, allegedly, okay? And so um, I when they when they made this video here, you got the video? It got me to thinking, because I've, you know, I've seen this this thing done before, okay? And I, there's a reason why I got Grant Cardone here, okay? Because there's always a white version. I'm sorry, there's a cracker version. And then there's a nigga version. Well, let's hit a nigga version. Let's go. Today, Pro Style came. This is this is your first time picking up rent, right? First time Ooh. picking up these joints. So we don't want to see the names on the checks, but yeah. Ooh. First time picking up rent, and that's what it's all about. When I tell you about creating generational wealth, that's what it is. I picked up, this is some of my rent. He owes me some more. His rent is picked up. Just getting started, baby. And that's what it's about. Pro Style jumped into the game. How many houses you bought? Uh, three. About to hopefully close on the fourth one, right? This guy is trying to get more houses yeah. than me. He's going to start Four speeding out the seminar. We're going to be at like 12, 16 units real Oof. soon. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what it's about, <laughs> teaching and learning how to do it. And that's what we're about, man. So I want to see you guys at the next seminar. Okay. All right. So basically what they did was they took properties, according to the, the court, the, the, the cases that was filed, this is not Tasha K. Words. This is the, the people that are alleged victims' words, okay? And not a Justice Department apparently got it, okay? That's Rico. So apparently he they tried to mimic what Grant Cardone does, okay? So what Grant Cardone does, you know, in nigga terms, is he goes to niggas <laughs> and he shows off his boats and, and private jets and, and, and money and offices and he'll take a building. I used to live in one of his buildings, right? And then he'll sell that building a piece, like a little piece at a time. So instead of him going to the banks, because the banks don't trust him, because he filed bankruptcy, owing the banks a hundred plus million dollars allegedly and stuff like that back in the day. So they don't give him no money. So he had to figure out how am I supposed to buy real estate and they won't give me no money, right? So what he does is he goes to niggas that are under the age of thirty, <laughs> but over the age, but but at the age of twenty five, and he sells them. Uh, what they call generational wealth. Do you want to make residual income? So you're going to give me $100 every month into this real estate portfolio, and I'm going to I'm going to multiply your money 10 times, So which means you'll make $1,000 on this building every time somebody pays rent to me. Now, the problem is it, it, he's been able to stay out of jail. Now, the feds is allegedly investigating him too, but it's just not as public. You understand what I'm saying? And so this is where they got their idea from. And so when people see, oh, they sold this building 11 times, they was basically trying to get multiple buyers in so that they can give them, you know, residuals on the building, and they just keep selling that building. And it, it's really not illegal, but the problem is they brown and he, he white, right? And he got better lawyers. And so the problem, too, is he has a certain demographic, listen to me now, that can't afford to file a lawsuit. When you target impoverished black men who are uneducated between the ages of 25 and 30, and he said this on his podcast all the time, and you go down there and you tell them, put your dope money in my business, and I'm going to bring you back 10 times. And then he jets off on his private jet. And then by the time he does have a check for him, they in jail. So he holds it in escrow. And then that money is used to buy more buildings. And then he goes to the hood again and says, I need y'all money because they don't have the money 
the time, the resources, or the education to file lawsuits, but the difference between him and them is they targeted grown fuckers like me that had a hundred thousand dollars instead. They should have been asking for a hundred dollars, like he doing instead of a hundred thousand. And that's why these is finna go to jail. Moving on, let's go. Last but not least. Before we head over to TashaKLive.com and we talk about Dwight Howard, definitely got some exclusive wine on Papoose. You want to see that? You want to hear that in real time? You make sure you subscribe to TashaKLive.com, okay? Because it's going down. It is the after party, okay? The after hours, after hours party. All right, you make sure you subscribe to TashaKLive.com to get that wine there, okay? It's dangerous over there. <sighs> now, me and Keisha on the motherfucking color. We, we had a debate, right? Now, Kaya out here on the internet upset about people comparing her to Sukiyana Sexy Red. And I'm not going to say Trina because Trina is in the Kaya era, okay? And Trina definitely is in my era because she can't de-bloat her stomach. <laughs> Y'all keep asking her if she's pregnant like I'm pregnant. It's age, Okay. Nah, let's go ahead and roll this video from Kaya. Let's go. These hoes was raised by Trina. Let's get this straight. Let me go on and get this off my chest. No, right don't blame it on Trina. Out. I'm about tired of y'all comparing me to these hoes. See, right. I said my neck, my back, my pussy, and my crack. Not because I hear these hoes out here in these streets. Right. I've been, I said my neck, my back, my pussy, and my crack, and I stood, still stood 10 toes down like a mother queen. Half still wrapped up like the first day. I ain't changed a bit. Okay? It's respect me. It snatched the mother cat back. It's don't trust no mother get your own shit. It's tell that to hit the mother dough. You want to these, you want to these hoes. Talk, talk, it ain't eat no asses. That's Florida, by the way. That's real Florida. We don't know what you, well, Trina, she cool, but we don't know where the other two came from. She from Delaware. I don't know where this one came from. Ain't nobody claiming her. Let's go. Y'all hoes couldn't have grown up listening to me because that ain't how the I roll. I done been out here 25 years. Y'all ain't seen no pictures of my pussy, no videos of me sucking dick. My phone ain't never been stole. Y'all ain't never seen me with no man. Man. And I got a motherfucking hood. Y'all ain't never seen me do shit. Y'all ain't seen no husband, no children, no nigga. No nigga industry got no pussy. Fuck me. Y'all ain't never seen me twerking. Y'all ain't never seen my pussy hole from the back. Now, Azuka gonna come out when I feel it's Scorpio season, so she will be out. K. Nashley comes out, but it's always queen the motherfucking goddess over here. Y'all ain't got shit on the queen, but I, but I ain't shit. And these hoes grew up listening to me. Hi! And that order queen. Don't that compare me to order. these hoes. Don't you ever compare me to these And another thing, I done eight raised two children, okay? All mm -hmm. that. <laughs> I'm old. I'm, I'm, I'm it, it. <laughs> Off them, them same songs y'all hitting on, the same ones, everybody sample the same ones that's still here. And I can perform it until I run out of breath. All your music, they sample all your music. I, I'm and still they, eating they off of all of those hits. See, okay? So at the end of the day, where you think these little hoes gonna be when they get 50? When, where they gonna be? They ain't gonna be looking, sitting up here looking like me. Like them hoes can't, they ain't gonna be, they're not even gonna be here in 25 years, let alone them tired ass songs that they putting out. So don't you ever say, oh, she's the original. Oh, she's, 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 she's unsexy red. Don't you ever in your life. Them other hoes, I said it then and I'm saying it now, okay? Y'all better know the difference between light and dog. Time to done told them this goals, goals, continue man. to tell. Check, got it. I'm glad that she said it because there was a certain cult about it. You understand what I'm saying? There was a certain respect about it. What's, what's sexy red is, first of all, what's red on her? The only thing that's red is the blood and the walk HIV campaign that she advocates, that she doesn't advocate for, okay? At all. Can't even wear orange hair if she wanted to. And Sukiyana, oh, I'm trying to get my, she scratched. But then you cry and tell her, they won't let go of my pat. Try to... Kaya has never. Remember how I said it's about branding? Don't, don't go, don't talk about you selling burgers and then we get there, there's no burgers on the grill. There's only lettuce and tomatoes. You out of meat. This is a whole different level here. And even Trina, one verse. Y'all know now. 
That's it. The rest she did was R&B rap. She didn't rap about eating pussy no more, even though she was. But don't, 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 don't do Kaya like that. And I'm going to even take up for Trina. Don't, don't do Trina like that. Because they bleep Trina's verse. And Trina and, and Kaya and Trina were around here bragging about to our little girls to go get gl- gonorrhea and chlamydia and all of this. They weren't telling our little girls and us to, to let a nigga burn you. So I'm with Kaya on this one. Now we gonna head on over to TashaKLive.com for some Papoose wine, okay? Because it's fresh and ready to go. We're also going to be talking about Dwight Howard because a lot of y'all out here wasn't believing what I was trying to tell y'all. I've been in contact with all the victims. Gay man walking. We're also going to be talking about, oh, Lord, Chris Sean, Summer Walker. She out here trying to clean up this bumpy past. We'll talk about it. Okay, I told you it gets dangerous over there on TashaKLive.com. Who else? JT out here lying. Mm-hmm. We got a lot of we got a lot of stuff. And Caesar from Black Ink, okay? And much, much more. So if y'all want to see the second part of the show, y'all head on over to TashaKLive.com right now. We're gonna get started at what time? 9:30. 9:30, okay? And if you want to see them interviews that we've been advertising, y'all better get on over there and see them too. Cause we don't know when they're gonna be put out everywhere else. Okay, we put out little clips, but that's it. All right, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Oh, I missed y'all. If y'all like this video, subscribe, of course. All right, what else? I forgot. I got to get back into the... Okay, if you want to advertise on the platform, please feel free to hit us at ads at TashaKLive.com. If you want your story to be told, please feel free to hit us at stories at TashaKLive.com. Or if you want to spill your wine, okay, please feel free to hit me in the DM on Instagram at Unwind with Tasha K. Or hit me at Unwind with Tasha K at gmail.com, all right? I love y'all. I hope that y'all enjoyed tonight's show. Thank you so much to Teddy. Also, in case y'all was wondering, I was drinking Neopathic White, okay? Tastes just like pairing a bottle. And it uh, get you a little slizzard, but not too much. It's Halloween weekend, so I'm trying to take it easy, but shake ain't gonna let me. Like I said, I'm gonna come back on Monday. But happy hour. Oh, it's messy, okay? As well as another, uh, 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 we got celebrity gossip going on TashaKLive.com on Monday. We back to our regular schedule. All right? I may, like I said, my voice may be gone some more, because Shaq gonna make sure it's gone. And, uh, because it is his birthday. Matter of fact, y'all show some love to Shaq. Tell Shaq happy birthday. I forgot how old he was. How old was he? How old is Shay? We forgot. You stop counting too. Let me let me see. Brought the energy to the show tonight. I love y'all. Y'all enjoyed it. Okay, I hope so. Y'all wearing me down now. Y'all wearing me down. Y'all finna make me take all of December off. All of December off. Okay. Uh, let me see. We miss you too. I love you too. And y'all make sure Houston is gonna be the next city. I don't want to hear nothing about you. I ain't hear nothing. Because once the tickets is gone, they gone. All right? A lot of people out here was talking shit. Hey, we we, we, we going to come see it. Now, everybody, I wish I was there. I wish I was there. I know how to put on a show. Don't play with me. Shay, they say happy birthday. What is it? He said my thank you. He tired, too, y'all. He tired. What is the poll up there? What is it? Who put a poll? I didn't put no poll. What is it? I know, but what questions did you put up? Oh, okay. We, they been been able to do that. That ain't new. <laughs> Listen, I love you. They said sending all my employees to your show. Okay. I told you the one those got some money. Shoot, I'm the only broke one right here, okay? Only broke one. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. And on Monday, I'm going to be fresh, clean, throat going to be working, okay? And I'll see y'all then. If you're not coming over to TashaKLive.com, let's go. All right, let's get it.